What is going on everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture. This is going to be an awesome video for me personally today because I'm going to talk about my favorite store of all time, A1 Comics. Many of you that watch my channel, you guys know that I talk about A1 Comics a lot. We celebrate A1 Wednesdays here, but this one's going to be a few things. One, I'm going to be showing off some more comics that I recently picked up from A1's Comics Warehouse, and we're also going to talk about this big, huge sale that uh, they are having this coming Sunday, but I'm also going to tell you all a story about why A1 Comics means so much to me. Before we get into it, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please, please take the time to do so. We are almost at that 10,000 subscriber Mark, I cannot wait till we get there. We're going to have a huge, huge sale. Lots of uh, sponsors involved, including A1. Uh, but right now, since we recently hit 9K, I am doing a, a giveaway for a couple of books. We have an ASM 75, the Gleason variant, as well as the Gem Mint and Comic Tom MMC uh, exclusive variant of The Boys. Number one. To win both of these books, to have an opportunity to win, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel, make sure you click the notification bell, and leave a comment below on this video and tell me your thoughts on everything that we talk about today, which obviously involves A1 Comics. All right, folks, so here's the thing. This is all about A1 Comics huge, massive warehouse sale. I recently did a video just a few days back now about... Being having the opportunity to go to the A1 Comics warehouse and pick up literally uh, one, not one, but two. I got the other one down here. Believe me, it, it, it's down here. Two short boxes of comic books. This Sunday, December 19th, they are having a huge, huge patio type sale at their warehouse. Not one of their three locations at the warehouse where they have dozens and dozens of long boxes and they're going to have dozens of long boxes full of dollar books. They're going to have trade paperbacks for sale, toys, and all countless other types of, of collectibles as well. So, of course, if you are looking for more information on that sale, check out their information below. You can follow them at A1 Comics on Instagram. That's probably the best place to get updates uh, for the sale on Sunday, what time it starts, when you should be there, etc. You can also check out their website link below as well. Uh, last but not least, if you are following them on IG, they do have live sales every Wednesday and Friday as well. So this sale though is going to be massive. I, I do recommend anybody that's in the area, don't miss this sale. I'm going to be there hanging out. And also, I, I, I'm telling you folks, if you, I, what did I say? Reno to Redding to Santa Cruz, San Jose. If you're in the Northern California area, come down, make a day of it. So I recently showed off some of these books uh, that I picked up uh, from when I went uh, the other day. Got some uh, some Iron Man books. Obviously, some of them weren't in, in best condition, but got some master of kung fu books there literally is everything suicide squad there's there's some beautiful 10 cent golden age stuff not anything crazy but a lot of dell stuff some disney stuff porky pig stuff like that but i mean you could find bronze age stuff like master of kung fu books in there for a dollar as well silver age stuff bronze age copper to modern all different kinds of stuff for the different uh, types of collectors, folks. And I'm telling you, I got I got a ton of Justice League books as well. Filling holes in my Justice League run. Especially in today's market where, you know, inflation on top of the, the COVID age has really boosted a lot of books up. So when you think about like, quarter bins. I think I, I think the quarter bin is almost non-existent now and they're probably bumped up to a 50 cent bin and a lot of 50 cent bins are bumped up to dollar bins. But more so than that, we know that books get hot in general. So a lot of books that you would usually find in dollar bins are having a higher price tag because of also speculation, movie hype, and all these other variables and all these other things that, that are bringing in such such heavy demand into this hobby right now. So 
I think this is an amazing, amazing event that A1 Comics is putting on. And I'm going to tell a little story because my love for A1 Comics came from how they do business like this. Now, of course, in this day and age, they evolved. You know, they do have the three locations, Sacramento, Roseville, and Folsom. Uh, and of course, during the COVID age, they've really taken the opportunity to utilize Instagram with their live sales, to utilize Twitch, to utilize the whatnot app. And believe me, they do an amazing job. And look, you could go in their live sales and sometimes, you, you, you know, uh, you could find deals. Maybe sometimes it, it's not for you or this is for you. But every live sale that I've been in online, whether it's IG or whatnot, there's, oh, I'm, I'm telling you, there's something for every collector. That's in terms of, of the product itself and the value and the pricing that you can get out of it. But in a time way before all this, way back in the day, uh, so 10 plus years now for me, 10 plus years, 2011 was the first time that I remember going into A1 Comics. And I've told this story before, I'm going to tell it again. I was still living in Richmond at the time. And the reason why I found A1 Comics is because in 2010, like late 2010, I was in search of a car and there was an A1 auto or something like that. It was A1 like automobiles or A1 used cars in Sacramento. And I remember going to this, this place and checking out their cars. And when I was doing the search, obviously a1 comics came up as well because i was there was a car that the a1 lot had that i was interested in so a couple months passed and i ended up making a trip out to a1 comics i think i initially went out there for the first time and i remember the first time i went going into their sacramento location and if you guys are familiar with their sacramento lo location it is it is massive. It's an old, I believe, Wells Fargo Bank. So it's a really large lot, uh, very high, high ceilings, right? And they have the massive vault, the bank vault that's in there. And there was just back issues galore, toys, statues, games. I immediately fell in love the first time I went in there. I, I don't think I bought much, but I'm pretty sure I rated some like 50 cent bands or dollar bands. Uh, but then I started following them on Facebook and I started learning about the sales that they would have. And A1 Comics was always really good about having these in-person sales. A couple types of sales that they would have would be, one, the patio sale. So you have 50 cent and dollar books. So, and this would be on the patio out in from their Sacramento location on, on the back side, the back door. It opens up. They got tons of short boxes and long boxes out there. 50 cent books, dollar books, $5 trades stacked up on a table, uh, bargain toys, right? Big shout out to Jared, who uh, was a big part of the A1 team that has moved and I, I think retired from the life of, of working comic books. But big shout out to Jared because he was a key piece of A1 for a long time and really just, just a good person that every time I went to A1, I was welcomed. But I these patio sales were absolutely crazy. And I really started building up a lot of my runs by hitting these patio sales. The other type of sales that they would have would be like 50% off back issue sales. Usually you get these maybe like quarterly. So you'd have like a Black Friday sale, maybe even an after Christmas sale where all back issues under $10 were 50% off. Anything above $10 was like 20% off. You know, they would have maybe like a, a end of year sale or like a summer sale. And the the way that I collected, especially coming through the years, and I ended up moving out this way. And through the years, I, I wasn't, you know, there were some years that I, I struggled there, not to dive too much into my financial business, but I, I didn't have a lot of money to spend on comic books. And I would hit these sales up. And I would find obviously books that were priced three, four, five, six dollars, and I would get them for half off. And I maximized my money. So I almost didn't really buy comic books outside of maybe some new releases of the books that I was reading. Maybe I buy a, a, a book off of eBay here and there. But the bulk of my buying was from A1 Comics during their sale. I would save my money, and then anytime a sale hit, 
I'd be there at the sale because I know I can maximize what I could get during their sales. So the reason why I bring this story up today is because this is the first real huge sale that they've really had in person since COVID hit. And I remember the week before everything shut down, the week before everything shut down, A1 had one of their big sales and I was there. And then a week later, they had to close their doors along with everyone else, right? During that time, March of 2020. For them to be back up and running and doing these types of sales like they have been for years and years and years, it, it means a lot to me because of what it, what it means to me as a collector. But just having that experience as well, being able to go and be around other collectors and be in that type of environment and flip through the boxes with other people and just, it was just always so enjoyable. And A1 comes out of, out of the pandemic doing it on such a huge, even more massive scale because now they're doing it at their warehouse. <laughs> so I just, I, like I said, I had to tell my story. Um, I just, I absolutely love what, what a one comics does and for them to, uh, allow me to look, I even got some, some old Marvel tales here. Um, when I went there the other day, for them, for them to do this means an absolute lot for me. So look, folks, we always complain about not being able to find good deals. We, we talk about how the market, you know, is so, I mean, I mean things are, are becoming more and more expensive just in lot in general right now with, with, uh, with COVID and how that's affected things. Everything's going up. Comic books have gone up. So take advantage take advantage of good deals when you can and you get to support a local LCS that in my humble opinion is just is filled with a bunch of, of good people doing good things and it's all about the hobby that we love so Sunday December 19th head over to the a1 comics Sacramento warehouse like I said all the details and information should be on their page. Their handle is below. If you want to follow them on Instagram, don't miss out, folks. If you guys have any questions for me as well, please let me know in the comments below. That's my video for today. Again, thank you guys for watching. I really do hope you guys check out Amon Comics. If you aren't local or you know can 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 drive up or make a day trip to the A1 Comics sale. At least follow them on social media. Check them out on Instagram. You can follow them on whatnot too. Uh, and just give them a follow. Uh, like I said, I, their sales are massive. They go three hours long every Wednesday and Friday on Instagram. They're also on whatnot multiple times a week as well. So again, leave your thoughts and comments below. Remember, for a chance to be entered into my 9K uh, comic book giveaway. Thank you all. Until next time.